Hi, Zeppa here. So today I want to make a video about how to gear your Iron Man to be able to do endgame content. I've discussed this with people in my clan chat. I've discussed this with my mates uh, who play Iron Man. It's a topic that raises a lot of opinions. There's so many different takes on how you should progress and what items should you go for. And it pretty much comes down to personal preference and also like what content you enjoy doing so this is just my opinion this is something i constantly think about when new updates come and i'm like oh how would this change the meta or iron man if i was starting now or let's say if i get hacked or something and i have to start all over or if there's like an old school runescape remastered because Apparently these games just get relaunched with different names and we start all over and we love the games again and again. If this video interests you, make sure to subscribe. To start out, I first want to talk about what's the old way of doing it. When I started my Iron Man, this was how people introduced the gear progression to me. So the first goal was to get 87 Slayer to be able to get a whip at Abbey Demons with 85 and then a trident from Kraken at 87 and after you got these two items you went to Zulra at Zulra your setup was a rune crossbow or magic short bow maybe a Carol's crossbow and then the trident and you grinded Zulra until you upgraded your trident to be the toxic one and you got the blowpipe and after getting the blowpipe and the upgraded trident you went to chambers of Xeric and then you grind it for everything there. That's not a bad route. I personally didn't like doing Slayer that much in the start. I felt like if I want to start an Iron Man, especially as I had like an old main and the only thing I did was Slayer. And when I started an Iron Man, I was like, I want to try different stuff than just do tedious Slayer for a long time. So what I did was I rushed Corrupted Gauntlet or the Blade of Sailor. The Bofa wasn't out when I started doing Gauntlet and I got really spooned. I'll show a picture if I find one. I think it was nice to skip the whip and not be a slave for Slayer, so to say. There's a ton of new updates, so I'm gonna go through the new meta. That's my take on how I would approach gearing up for a late game. If the goal is to get to do the raids, stuff like Nightmare and Nex and Phantom Maspa and so on, and Warcath and whatnot. I think this is a very good route. So going for Wildy Slayer early on is gonna be the key. Just hear me out. So you start with doing Wilderness Slayer. You get a lot of points. You can skip the annoying tasks. You can unlock your Slayer Helm. You can get a lot of good unlocks for a future Slayer. So this is a good start. And also getting the rev tasks is incredibly good at the moment because the rev weapons are five times more common on task and they were made even more common overall. So as far as I'm concerned, I think with the wilderness update, they are seven and a half times more common than they used to be if you're doing them on, on a slayer task. Also, wilderness is very good for getting Laren's keys for example and you can get the Dagon High which can be a very good substitute for Arims. On top of that you can get so much GP that you can just get your fletching up that's a pretty viable skill for Iron Man if you do bro bolts and you can get your construction up because planks cost a lot of GP and yeah it's it's pretty nice to start out with Wildy Slayer once you're in the mid game range where you have basic setup of, you know, dragon weaponry, uh, dragon defender, barrows gloves and so forth, you can start doing the wilde bosses. I've got a video on all the wilde bosses. You can do them with like 300k gear in monk's robes with a D mace, no risk at around one out of 1000, you can get the void baker pieces. So if you don't want to grind for 85 Slayer, you can grind for the Void Baker. You will get so much supplies 
and with the void breaker you can go toa as it's better for stab than the zami hasta as it's higher strength and pretty okay stab attack bonus and then you can just do toa for the fang of us mountain which is a great weapon also the the other skip with will the slayer is the thamaran scepter so the thamaran scepter is the mage rev weapon which is pretty good or it used to be very bad but now it's pretty good because they changed it so it has like an powered staff auto attack spell just like the trident it's the same speed as the trident and if you do vecchion you can get the upgrade so it hits as good as a trident outside of the wilderness so you can do thammer and scepter grind go for the wildy bosses do wildy slayer at revs at the bosses at everything get some laran's keys get the dagon high and just go straight to toa get some mazori for range gear that's incredibly good you can upgrade the um, void waker which is a great spec weapon or as long as your account goes it's like the best in slot as good as dragon claws so you have a great spec weapon that you can use for dps instead of a whip you can grind the osmantum's fang with the void waker no problem and the only problem is that we don't have a range weapon and for range weapon this is a biased opinion but i love the corrupted gauntlet okay you you might be like oh corrupted gauntlet is too hard you can do the regular gauntlet it's fine you can do 200 kc of that and i promise once you have 200 kc of the normal gauntlet corrupted one will be a breeze for you also if you get the crystal armor only and you don't land on the enhanced seed the crystal armor combined with the normal crystal bow is pretty good people are way too uh, hesitant to use this setup but even with them doa combat achievements where you have to use gear that's like lower end for the combat achievement the endgame gamers were using a crystal bow with the crystal armor setup and that was working just fine so i would go gauntlet for the range gear and maybe both but if you're uh, not lucky there you can use the crystal bow then i would do hammer and scepter from revs with slayer task so you get the increased chance finally i would go try to get the void waker from will the slayer bosses uh, i mean will the bosses on slayer task as well and if you happen to go super dry you might get the 85 or at 80 you can pie boost plus five slayer with the wild pie and boost for whip which is not that bad but the trident can't be boosted so i would highly recommend trying to get the samaron or the accursed scepter which is the upgrade this is pretty much the shortcut of a, a whip skip and a trident skip there's also an alternative method which has been there for ages which is the theater of blood whip skip which means you just go theater of blood with like a rune crossbow usually you need a lot of gamers with you to boost you and yeah it's it's not the common way and just get the sang staff and the rapier and then you just have the upgraded trident and upgraded whip but i feel like the wilderness route that i talked about is way much easier i think you can make a lot of money you can bank 99 construction in gp you can do 99 fletching you will have money for all the onyxes so you can buy all the jewelry you need the zenai jewelry requires an onyx for each piece so you can buy all that with the gp you get from revs you can buy endless supply for kingdom of miscellanea at, with the gp you, you're pretty much set for gold on your account if you do this route i'm talking about from my personal experience i feel like you're gonna enjoy the game more if you do it this way i i find new content to be exciting and nice and if you're interested in doing an iron man i would recommend trying something new rather than just going do the same thing all over again without trading that's just my opinion i've been doing over 20 videos daily now and i would love to hear some suggestions from you on what videos i should do or what you want to watch 
thank you very much for watching this one i appreciate all of you who come to my videos and comment down below like the video subscribe to the channel it's so great to see the channel growing love you guys zeppa out peace